Very good afternoon. Looking forward to uh, the second of our summer meetings at Leperstown this Thursday afternoon. First of a eight race card that's underway at 4.15. I thought Money Beams would be hard to beat for trainer Gerald Lines. A really good run first time out of a course in distance. Uh, Penny only dropped quite green and only dropped uh, inside the furlong pole. Came home well. The more experienced Celtic Times who Kevin Manning kicked off the bend turning into the straight. Uh, just held on. I thought he's going to be hard to beat. Money beams in our opener for the inform. Jarlines Colin Keane combination. Second race, uh, tricky maiden number six of furlongs for the Phillies. Golden Lyric sets a good standard here. Uh, she's been second on her last four runs, but she does have a good draw stall too, which is very important over the six furlong trip around Leperstown as well. The one that I was fancying in it until I saw her, she was drawn. Is by partnership ran well at Leperstown in her first run. Slightly disappointing the second start again. Willie McCreary's horse is continuing in good form. She's the most likely danger to Golden Lyric, along with Split Passion. Bit by partnership is open to more improvement, but just when she's drawn out in 12, that's a slight concern. It's a big concern in our second race of the afternoon. Third race is the Race Academy Apprentice Handicap. Loads of these in with chances. Sister Lola, uh, she comes back to her better form. She loved the ground and uh, disappointing the last day in Goran Park, but the ground was too heavy for her. She was quite consistent in... Uh, of course, Dundalk during the winter. She loved the quick surface tomorrow. She's a big player, as is Ice Cold and Alex. Now, Ice Cold and Alex hasn't won since 2018. He's been quite consistent. He's a really good draw and stall too. I think the race will be run to suit him because they'll go right good gallop. He did run okay. He ran well, better than his finishing position suggests. That was at Leperstown last week and Gorn the other afternoon as well. Wasn't beaten all that far. But round here, a uh, true run race. Ice called in Alex. As I say, he hasn't won since 2018, but I think he's an each way bet to nothing to uh, finish in the money. But I do think Sister Lola sets a good standard. That's in our third race. Fourth race is the features, the Ballycora Stakes Group 3. Over six furlongs, a cracking race. I do think uh, Lord of the Lodge could be hard to beat. Four-year-old from uh, Carl Burke's yard. He's rated 108, but I would be very worried about Munasab from the Kevin Prendergast stable. Uh, of course, remember, this horse just caught, caught on the line uh, by high definition in last year's Berriford Stakes. And uh, he ran below par in the... Uh, 2000 Guineas, he had a really good comeback run and finishing third in the Guineas trial at Leperstown early on this season. But I think the ground was too bad for him. Draw lines for that run. Uh, he's got a good draw and stall too. And I do think uh, six furlongs, it's nearly seven furlongs. I think that's possibly this horse's ideal trip. But I do think Lord of the Lodge will be hard to beat. Carl Bork, he's a great record when he sends over his uh, English his horses over here to Ireland. And Lord of the Lodge from stall four, he'll go forward. He could be hard to beat, but Munasab could be his biggest danger. That's in our feature, the Ballycora Stakes due off at 5.50. Our fourth race is the Mile Leperson Golf Centre handicap for the three-year-olds only. And I like Stop on Red from the Jimmy Coogan stable. Very consistent at uh, Dundalk. Uh, during the winter months, he rarely ran a bad race. He's running off a mark of 69, and I think that's quite workable on the grass. I think he's very interesting indeed, and I think he could take a bit of beating. Joseph O'Brien uh, runs sheer chance, who might have just stayed over a mile and one the other afternoon. Drops back to a mile, and uh, but it is drawn out in stall 14, which is a big negative, and uh, might have come up against a, a smart, a stable companion, Marinesque who uh, finished in front of her at Gorham Park in the Maiden the other afternoon. But I do think stop on red from stall six. I think he could be hard to beat for Jimmy Coogan and Chris Hayes. Our 6.50 is the mile and one Irish Stallion Farms Phillies handicap. Small field going to post, six going to post, but I do like Mwail and top weight from Paddy Toomey. We spoke about Gerald Lyons operating at a good strike rate. Paddy Toomey's operating at an even better strike rate this season and uh, his winners to runners is, is, is quite good. And I think Mwail on will be hard to beat. Malaysian got no run. We were fancying it, as you remember, last week. Didn't get a clear run uh, in a 47 to 65, I think it was, sorry, a 47 to 70 at Leperstown last week, but has to step up in grade today. But I think Mwailan will be hard to beat. Uh, as I say, she won well in seasonal reappearance. Uh, she's only had uh, two runs, and I think she could be better than a handicapper. Mwailan for me in the 650. Seven, a 20 mile and one handicap, uh, Justina. 
Had to get away from him, even though he's drawn a 16. This horse bolted up at Listall the other afternoon. He's running under the six pound penalty, but he's actually after getting 20 pounds of a rise in the ratings. And uh, it's a no brainer. You have to run him back here under the six pounds. So theoretically, he's 14 pounds well in. He does have a bad draw, but it's very, very hard to get away from. He is going to start a short price favourite. One maybe at a price, uh, Divine Celts, if you're looking for an each way alternative. So that ran well. Just got chinned on the line at. Uh, Navin on his most recent start, Jarla Fahey's horse in good form also, and our 7.50 last race of the afternoon, Malbas runs under uh, the penalty, he was well back, duly obliged the other afternoon, and uh, he sets a good standard, but hook head for Jim Bulger, I think he's a big player here as well, Kevin Manning back on board, and uh, not without a chance coming out of stall 7, and Little Brother is another one for James Nash, who's a winner of an apprentice race, remember, and he's putting on to a start at Leperstown, that's got a big chance as well, uh, just a trip beat him, I thought, the last day, and stepping up further in trip, he's a big player also, but I do think hook head could be the one to go with in the last, hopefully you enjoy our action at Leperstown on Thursday evening, fingers crossed, you're back, plenty of winners, bye for now.